How old do you think Karen is then? She goes, 41. I'm like, 41? <laughs> when do you ever see professional athletes of 41? Same old story in Wales, really. Uh, my father played uh, for the local rugby club in Carmarthen, Carmarthen Athletic, and uh, used to follow him down to training most Tuesdays and Thursdays. And then uh, go and watch him play on a Saturday. And then, uh, luckily enough, the rugby club in, uh, in Carmarthen, the Athletic had a, had a junior section, which my father and my mother were heavily involved with. I uh, missed out on an uh, under 16 schools cap with, with Wales. I uh, had a nasty injury the year before. Um, probably didn't quite see rugby as a profession for me. I thought potentially I'd missed the boat and um, wasn't quite good enough. And probably my journey was a little bit longer coming into the Scarlets Academy. Uh, I remember playing in the Scarlets, Scarlets trial and got called up to Wales in the 19s uh, a year young uh, with uh, Jan Jones and you know uh, Garth Nicholas, who, who had a bit of faith in me. And um, luckily enough, I got. Brought into the Scarlet's Academy then, and um, you know, I haven't really looked back since with the opportunities I've had. Uh, I got called up as a pretty much sort of the fourth or fifth hooker to, to train for the in the world during the World Cup training camps, and and there have been quite a few injuries. Matthew Reese, who's Wales captain at the time, had got injured during the camp. Uh, Richard Hibber got injured in the in the last warm up game, and you know, I was fortunate, I got the opportunity to go to that 2011 World Cup. And, and get my first cap against um, Namibia in uh, in New Plymouth, and then after that, you know, 2012 we'd, we'd won the Grand Slam, uh, and then you know played a lot of rugby for Wales from from that moment on. England was a was a big big game. Uh, we knew uh, we we had to make a statement in that game, you know, to to really win that and and give us an opportunity to uh, you know to qualify for the quarterfinals, and it was it was a Great day, uh, really close. You know, uh, some magic from um, uh, from Lloyd Williams and Gareth Davis to get a great try, and then you know Dan Bigger put some really tough penalties over, and then just a resolve in the last you know sort of five or six minutes to hold out. And um, yeah, it was you know it was just a great experience. You know, say you know, knocking England out of their home World Cup was you know a good experience. But for us as a squad, we knew how big that game was for us to qualify. Um, for the quarterfinals, and that really put a, 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 a marker down. I think playing for the British and Irish Lions is the pinnacle for anybody, you know, within the four countries that you know that make up the Lions. I think growing up, um, when you you, know, you hearing about people in that rugby club, especially, they talk about the greats of the game and the greats of people from our town who've played played the game. They've all talked about the same people. You had Delmi Thomas, Roy Bichers, Ian Evans, Stephen Jones, you know, they're all British and Irish Lions. So I was incredibly proud to captain the Lions on my first first appearance against um, against the Blues. Um, and it was, it was just a great experience, you know, on and off the field to have my, you know, my family over there. Um, to support me as well and see and you know experience everything that the Lions tour is.